So now you have here a situation where you have people saying, wait a minute, that Hunter Biden story got more attention because the social media outlets said, oh, it was hacked and we had questions. I'm not so it. sure about that, but no. carry on. So go ahead. So, so what do you think? Here's what I think. I want to know what these guys are taking before these hearings. Mm. Zuckerberg, Dorsey, <laughs> what kind of pills are these guys being given? They're completely tranquilized. Next time I'm going into a big meeting where I'm going to get my head blown off, I want one of those things. <laughs> Pop a big tech and then go in and just we'll, say, we'll get it for oh, you tomorrow. yes, we're working on that. <laughs> what? What'd you say, David? Said, we'll get it for him for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I needed one on uh, November 4th. Um, here's what I think. When you combine big tech with big media, what that does is big tech makes someone like Biden bulletproof. And then the big media... I think attacks Trump, what, 95% of the time. So then you give the Democratic nominee for president, you give him a shield to protect himself. You Is know? this the Hunter Biden story? Yes. And then you give him a sword in the big media to attack his opponent with. And so they're basically untouchable. I mean, any Democrat with that kind of protection has to win every time. And they need that type of help because they're not talented to win it on their own. If you look at the donations that are coming out of Silicon Valley, Joe Biden and big tech, they were the top donor to his campaign. 95% of the donations coming out of Silicon Valley went to Joe Biden through the super PACs and the individual donations. So Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, they owe big tech. You don't give that kind of money to a politician and not expect special access, right. special favors. So when they're going to get in there, they're already going to write the rules. And that's why his transition team is loaded up with Silicon Valley executives. And the minute they smell some regulation coming out of the House or the Senate, those lobbyists are just going to lather up these politicians with donations take them on hunting trips, put their okay. spouses on boards. Allow me, allow, That's how it goes down. Allow me to move on. Please. I hear your point. I got you. I have point. more. I sure. <laughs> That's why, that's why I said, I'm, I'm sure you have more. I do. I because have Because you come well prepared. Thank you, Juan. A deep dive is the way I think that's, of you. I can deep go dive. deeper. All right. Dana, on any given day. Jacques Cousteau. What, what'd you say? Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Well, you can't, it's no scuba diving. No, no, you know, with him, you got to go really, really. Now deep. you're embarrassing me. Okay. All right. Uh, Dana, on any given day, Facebook, Twitter are, you know, according to all the metrics, dominated by conservatives, Ben Shapiro, Dan Bongino, Charlie Kirk. So how how serious are we supposed to take these claims of censorship? Well, seriously enough that these guys have been called up to testify, I think, three times this year in 2020, which uh, my concluding point of my comments was going to be, where is this going? But I'll start with that. Okay. So you're watching these things and it almost feels like the same hearing every single time. So they get the tranquilizer dart out. <laughs> they like show up, except for I thought it was interesting today that um, Google didn't come. Mm. And I don't know if they weren't, I, I, and I'm sorry. Did you I, search for them? <laughs> 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 Amazing comeback. Um, but YouTube has also been accused of bias against conservatives, amongst other things, and not taking down videos like the Andy, Andy Parker, um, the, the father of Allison, who, was, of course, you know, killed on live television. That video is still up, and he has asked YouTube to take it down. They won't take it down. They say they have reasons not to. Um, there's lots of these laws, but I wonder, like, where is this going? You could see the possibility of somebody like a Josh Hawley and Elizabeth Warren maybe getting to the same conclusion of what they want to have happen with these companies, but for very different reasons. Uh, I do think that content um, decisions have hurt conservatives in, in some cases. Let me give you one example. Um, John James, who is the Republican Senate candidate in Michigan. He, you know, he lost, but not by much. He, there was an ad that the Democrats cut about him talking about health care. And they cut it deceptively, and they edited it, so that it looked like he was basically didn't care about pre-existing conditions. Twitter wouldn't take it down. They wouldn't label it. So then it spread everywhere. And the TV networks then in Michigan started using it. And it wasn't fair. And like, Twitter's quick to label something deceptive on the Republican side, or it feels that way. And so that's what they were trying to get at today. Okay. Also, Maisie Hirono, the senator from Hawaii, suggested that because Media Matters has done a report that says that there is no bias against conservatives <laughs> on social media, that we're all supposed to take that very seriously. Um, and the last thing I would say is Twitter has, uh, and Facebook have done this extended ad ban after the election, but now you have these elections in Georgia, the, the runoffs. So now the Democrats are mad because they get fundraising through their Facebook ads. Okay. So they're, nobody is 
making much sense, I don't think, on Capitol Hill, on any of this, on either side. All right. So, Greg, some conservatives are calling for, you know, moves to new platforms. Right. Move away from these platforms. Uh, create what I think of as safe spaces for conservatives, mm -hmm. right? But I was thinking to myself, that might be doomed to fail because then you wouldn't have liberals to argue with and even to beat up on. Well, I took, I, I created my own, uh, um, I guess, not, I didn't really, a message board on locals because I didn't want to be canceled. So I put, and I have a wall there and it's like, you can call it a safe space, but actually it allows me to say whatever the F I want. <laughs> so it may, may, it ain't no safe space for the people over there. It just prevents people from trying to destroy my life, which is what they do on Twitter. I want to, I want to go off on what you said. You said you think they're on drugs. I just want to know why the most powerful people currently in the world look so odd. <laughs> I mean, here on one side, you got Father Time, and the other one, you've got like a shaved gerbil. I mean, these are people that are basically controlling our lives. I mean, I look at, I look at uh, what's his name? Jack, his beard. I mean, that's got to be where the suspended tweets go. I mean, I think if you were to look for Hunter Biden, 90% of the time, it's in that beard. Incredible. The big concern, I think, for me is that we've already given up on academia, entertainment, and media. It's all overwhelmingly left. Every study shows 90% liberal. If, are we willing to now give up on these social platforms, right? It's like, it, 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 when you look at these studies, and you mentioned one, I think, Dana, or uh, the, the study of midterm political contributions of $200 or more. For Netflix, 99.6% went to Democrats, right? Twitter, 98.7%. Google, 96%. So what happens is when you're dealing with people who are that biased, they're more welcome to suppressing other uh, opposing political opinions. Generally, if you're middle of the road, you can deal with both. But when you're 99 percent, you're not going to let anybody there. And that answers your question on why all of the policing of problematic tweets goes one way. Because if you're 99 percent left, you don't see any problem with the problematic tweets, the lies and the disinformation coming in the direction that you enjoy, but anybody else, you got to stamp that out. So that's the problem. I have no solutions. Well, okay, well, <laughs> but we appreciate your perspective. Do you really? Yeah, want there we go. There we go. Okay.